Hey, what's up? This is Chosen, and this video is going to be huge shard opening number six, so let's get into it. First off, big shout out to Alexandra Schmid, my newest patron. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. And yeah, so every summoning event, I try to just one shot it and complete it straight off and show you guys the results. So this one is no different. And really quickly, I want to go over these events and kind of, you know, talk about some of my opinions on it. Okay, the Dungeon Divers event. This is a long event, six days. Personally, I, I farm the campaign instead of doing, um, you know, like the dungeons, like the dragon and stuff, you know, you, you get artifact drops while doing the campaign and that counts towards this. So you can still get lots of XP and, and not be forced to grind artifacts. If you're a newer player, even though it says dungeon divers, I would, you know, just farm the campaign and get what you can get. I wouldn't kill yourself trying to farm the dungeons to get the rares and epics. I would farm XP and get what you can get. That'll, you know, benefit you in the long run. And then going with the summoning rush, this is just from like farming food. I've acquired 100, uh, you know, just from summoning champs. So I need 1,400. Uh, to get that 1,400, we're going to be doing one sacred shard, two void shards, and 33 ancient shards. You know, 33 ancient shards, you get, uh, you know, times 20 is um, is 660 plus the 240 plus the 500 is going to get us that 1,400 so that we can just one-shot this event and get these rewards. So, alrighty, uh, first off... Let's pull up the uh, portal here. If you've watched my uh, summoning videos, they haven't gone super well. I haven't had a video where it's been amazing and I've just had really good luck. So hopefully this is the one. And uh, what we're going to do for the... So we're going to do these until we have four left. So um, I'm going to do a mix of one by one and a, a couple times tens. So I'm going to do 13. If I got to do 33, I'm going to do 13 uh, singles. And then I'm going to do uh, two times 10 pulls. So if I had to do 13, we're going to do these until I have 24 left. So let's get after it here. Okay, so basically, ooh, oh, I thought it was, looks just like Apothecary. I was like, oh, <laughs> wow, he looks like Apothecary. Okay, Magister is not as good as Apothecary, so... Uh, I do already have Apothecary, but it, it would have kind of been fun to get that uh, duplicate one for a skill upgrade. Rock Tooth is a really good champion for the um, the spirit the spirit um, dungeon because of the heal reduction and being magic affinity to counter the uh, the heals of the spirit. Alrighty, Hellfang is is pretty meh. Chopper. I'll kind of try to, uh, you know, go quickly for you guys and just kind of give notes of, of notable rares and stuff. Siege Breaker, okay. Anointed is a, is a pretty decent rare. Um, you know, a 75% chance to steal the buff, and you can buff that up, so... Uh, you know, and fill a turn meter of all allies on a four turn cooldown. He can, anointed can be, you know, a decent rare to have in certain situations. Ooh. Graybeard. Come on, at least give me one epic in, in my single pulls here. We're, we're, we're not doing good so far here. This is not a promising start, but hopefully we'll finish strong. Vergus, this is this is a oh oh it's an epic. I can swear sometimes it doesn't give me the epic animation, and actually I think it's for the high elves. Now that I think about it, it's usually a high elf. Like I think last time that it happened, it was Royal Guard. I got I you know I I didn't even notice that I'm getting an epic. So yeah, I think the high elves are buffed on the uh, summoning animation. But yeah, okay. So Vergus is a high elf epic that I don't have yet. We've got an A1, 50% chance of placing a 50% decrease accuracy debuff for two turns, proportional to defense. A2, a 15% continuous heal buff on a target ally, on a 50% ally protection buff on the target ally for two turns. This champion will take, okay. Place a 15% continuous buff, heal buff on this champion for two turns every time their HP 
Ally defense in dungeons. Okay, so... Just by first glance, doesn't seem super good. Um, but I'd have to kind of look into it more. It is a spirit hero, which is good. Because spirit heroes are kind of tough to get, it seems. Acolyte is a decent rare. Okay, so we're going to do a couple more. And then we're going to do some times tens. Marked. Okay. I think this is the last one. Alrighty, petting it? Yep, petting it. Okay. So, that did not go well. <laughs> you always get these uh, these packs when you get that uh, Epic of Legendary. Okay. So, that did not go well, but now we're going to do some times tens, and hopefully those go better. So, we got two times tens to do. Here we go. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> Bone Knight is a decent rare. Sentinel can be alright early game in the arena. Hyria is actually a rare I don't have yet. One of the few rares in the game I don't have yet. So, uh, and Hyria is a pretty decent rare. Uh, okay, that's a decent A1. Attack one enemy three times each hit. As a so this is pretty good with like a giant slayer um, clan boss you can't get it to a three turn cooldown which is a bummer attack one enemy with two random allies so Hyrie is decent a decent kind of early to mid game uh, clan boss fighter anything else here nothing else to really write home about here all right come on now don't give me another bad one like that My cat's going crazy here. Okay. Hey. <laughs> well, we got three epics out of ten blues, which is crazy. And uh, another Juliana, which would normally be a good thing. But I do already have Juliana. And Juliana is one of those epics that you get kind of diminishing returns by using twice. So even though Juliana is a good pull, it's kind of a wasted pull. Um, we actually got, jeez, I got three Hyrias Hy in 20 blue shards. And three Sentinels. That's hilarious. And I actually, I, I think I had Grandmaster in the last one. Relic Keeper's a good pull, but um, will probably be food, because I already have a maxed out Relic Keeper. That was actually my first, Relic Keeper might have been my first hero I maxed out, actually. And then Galka is one I don't have. Attack one enemy two times, 50% chance of placing a decreased defense. That's a good A1. Attack all enemies one by one in a random order. Damage inflicted decreases by 25% after each hit. That's interesting. Attack all enemies a 75% chance of placing a bomb. Huh. So an attack character with... Okay, on a three turn cooldown, on a four turn cooldown... Creating dungeons. Okay. So, interesting. Could be a good AoE character um, to develop because spirit AoE characters are hard to get for when you're trying to get to that next, like, spider dungeon level and stuff. So, one I'm going to have to kind of look into there. Alright, now we move into the uh, voids and sacreds. Hopefully, we'll get a legendary at some point. I'm going to get a top 10 legendary at some point in my life. <laughs> Harrier, huh? Okay. Rare. And a rare. Bloodhorn is, uh, nothing really to write home about, I don't think. Okay. <laughs> the way this is going, I'm so scared I'm gonna get, like, a Shaman or a Jizo out of this. All right, here we go. Hey, Callie is a good one, I think, if I remember right. Place HP burn. I already kind of used Juliana, but she's a force hero, and so she could have a niche here on a different uh, clan boss team. Attack on enemies, 50% chance of placing a 100% heal reduction. 
times each hit is a 60% chance of placing an HP burn. Okay, so lots of HP burn. Um, so Kali is okay. Attack one enemy, attack all enemies. Attack three times at random. Okay. So, um, I'll take it. It's an epic I didn't have yet, and uh, I'm going to have to kind of look into Kalia more to uh, really get a grasp of how good of a pull that was out of the Sacred. So, um, yeah, all in all, what did we get? Four, e five epics. Um, no legendaries again. Um, so I still don't have a legendary that I would consider, you know, like endgame, like a top ten legendary. Uh, so... Yeah, it is what it is, but all in all, it uh, went decently well. We got a decent amount of epics, and, uh, you know, Juliana was a really good pull, but unfortunately, that's one that I already have. Um, so I'd rate it, like, uh, in terms of how useful this shard opening was for me, like a 3 out of 10, something like that. Um, summoning Rush, yep, sure enough, there it is. Alrighty, well, uh, hopefully you have good luck in your summoning rushes. Let me know down in the comments if anything interesting happens for you while you're uh, summoning. So, yeah, good luck, and thank you for watching. Have a good rest of your day. Peace.